Good afternoon, this is Sean Taylor with Silver Creek Realty Group and I wanted to welcome you to my new listing in Carriage Hill West in South Nampa. It's only about a mile or so from Lake Lowell, close to parks, shopping, everything else. Great area, as you can tell, just beautiful entry, both on this side and also on the west side. Immediately into the neighborhood, you've got the huge community pool area. It's like two pools with a middle section there. It's really big. Community center there, or pool house. Then you've got a little tot park over there, another park that goes, it's, it's behind the fence there. You'll see it in the MLS photos. Lots of sidewalks and areas to go on walks. Just an absolutely beautiful community. And the subject property is right over here on our right. And it's set back in a, oh, I think I just missed my turn, darn it. Uh, set back in a very private area with no rear neighbors, which is also fantastic. So I'll take you there now. So pulling into the area, notice that from here, there's also access back over to the park and they've got these little dog waste um, stations throughout the neighborhood, which is awesome. And one thing I love about this particular house is it's one of the smallest in the neighborhood, which is great for your values. So if you look at all the sales in this neighborhood, most of them are way, way, way higher. And uh, the streets are nice and wide. You don't see a million cars on it, etc. And this is the subject property up here on our right. The single level right there. And you've got your own little private driveway going up to it. It's set back. You're going to have low traffic. And again, no rear neighbors. Welcome to 11956 West Piazza Street in South Nampa. Coveted Carriage Hill West neighborhood. This home was built by Toll Brothers in 2021. One owner home. And you'll notice out here you've got the full rain gutter system. Full downspouts with extensions that go underground. Nice wide garage with the glass windows at the top. It's a beautiful elevation. And you've got the nice long driveway here. It sets it back from the street nice and far, which makes it private and quiet nice concrete walkway up to the front of the house and you'll notice that there's several trees two here and one over there off of the median numerous shrubs up here in the front both the trees appear to be maples and you have a nice combination of the vertical siding here that switches to the horizontal with the stucco or I think they might call it Ephus or Ephus. Kind of stucco accent in here. Very neutral colors. And again, the full gutter system. And it's a vented ridge here, which just allows more air into the attic, which is smart. Nice and tall elevation here. Probably 10 feet tall right there. Lots of light. A convenient outlet up here by the front. You'll also notice that it's got a Vinyl gate over here on the side. We'll get to the yard in a minute. And a nice, I call this a proud door. Really tall front door. Probably at least, I don't know, seven plus feet tall. And you walk into the house and the first thing you'll notice is the very low maintenance vinyl plank type of flooring here. You also notice the Sun Valley texturing the flat panel electrical. And this house has a lot of windows and they're oversized, nice big windows. This is nine foot ceilings in here, which just give it an even more spacious vibe. Nice wide gas fireplace. And it has what I call a Smurf tube. So you easily mount your television up there. And then it ports down to over here on the side where you can put components or whatever you like over there. Beautiful gray tile. 
And I like that the fireplace is set nice and low so that you can have a nice big screen above it. And then again, these beautiful picturesque windows. There's no rear neighbors, and this faces the Boise mountain range, and it's kind of an unobstructed view. There's a little bit of haze today, so in the video it might not come out very clearly. There you see another extension right there for the rain gutter. Just keep that water away from your house and the big covered rear patio. And this is um, north facing right now. And so as you can see, you get shade, which is wonderful. You also don't have bright light blasting into your living room. There's your dining area. And then my favorite part of the house is a, a view of the uh, entry as well. Look at the amount of cabinets in here. That's phenomenal. And they're nice tall cabinets as well. They all have the handles on them. You have the quartz countertops, beautiful corbels here, or I'm sorry, the uh, uh, island. I guess you could call these a corbel. Usually the corbels are underneath sticking out and this is a nice way for the extra support outlet. The refrigerator is included, gas stove. They're all Whirlpool appliances, full tile backsplash, lots of outlets across there. And count the amount of cabinets. So sets of two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. And you have a pantry over here as well. Lots of space. And continue in the kitchen here. The owners are meticulous and every one of the cabinets has lining in it as well, which is really nice to protect your cabinets. I like the nice deep sink here, stainless steel. Very spacious and you have the Pennant lighting here, drop down pennant lighting, very elegant. And you do have a lazy Susan over here in the corner. More windows, all the blinds are installed. And again, it has the hardware already attached, which is a nice feature. Not all homes have that. Another outlet over here on the side for your garbage disposal. Just push this right here. And again, just beautiful, beautiful quartz cabinet or uh, countertops. All right, so we'll head over to the master bedroom. So it's a single level. Also look at the nice light fixtures. Before I leave here, I'll also point out that all the windows are full wood wrap. So they go all the way around the entire window which is great. Fully fenced, landscaped, irrigation water, vinyl fencing. So you have this little delineation into the master with its own light. Notice the style of door, very modern, kind of a shaker style. And you've got plush carpet in the bedroom. Very neutral colors, another grand window here. Got good skies today. A look out at your private rear yard, master closet area here. Some built-ins. Spacious master, all the dimensions are on the MLS. Then you enter into the master bathroom and you'll notice the real tile flooring in here. His and her sinks, huge mirror. It is also wrapped, wood wrapped, chrome fixtures. And a nice big glass enclosed full tile from floor to ceiling. So those little added touches that make a house look a lot classier and a window bringing in some nice natural light there. Another feature in here is having the enclosed commode. with the elongated toilet area there. 
Now we'll take you over to the guest bedrooms. Say goodbye to the kitchen area. I'll show you that fridge real quick. I'll show you what kind of great condition it's in. These also have the owner has the liner down in there, just protecting her investment there. Ice maker. Showed you the pantry to our right. You can also see the interactive floor plan on the uh, MLS. Again, nine foot ceilings, closet here with sliders that save space. And next bedroom over here, very similar. Also make a great office. Again, full wood wrap. And just really tall windows. You can't quite get the scope of it in a video, but compared to most windows where you're gonna get one that's about half of that size in a bedroom. So really nice having big windows in a home. Again, even chrome on the hardware on the doors. So the vinyl flooring just continues through here, vinyl plank, all the main walking areas. The courts also extended it even into the guest bathroom. Full wood wrap mirrors in here. And then you have a shower tub combo in here. All right, so next I wanna take you out to my second favorite area, which is the garage. Oh, I forgot to show you the laundry. It's on en route. Full cabinets in here. A lot of builders will just do one little bar across there. And plenty of space over here as well, which is good. We'll walk over here to the mudroom area. You've got the built-in shelving in here. You hang your coats, apron, sit down, take off your shoes. Additional storage over here. It's a good idea to keep your paint and extra paint inside the house so it doesn't freeze in the winter. But now I want to show you this garage. The dimensions are on the MLS as well, but it's an oversized garage, has the windows in here. It's also approximately 10 feet high. So if you wanted to do drop storage, you could. Plus you've got a little bit of space on both sides over here. And the owner has textured and painted it, which is always a good idea. I tell my clients at least hit it with a coat of primer, otherwise it kind of yellows out and looks terrible. Over here, they've also added a water softener. It's got a good carrier brand furnace. And, <coughs> pardon me, I love the fact that changing the filter in your home is as easy as coming out here, flipping that, and putting in a 16 by 25 by four inch filter instead of having to change out several inside the home. And if you've got your bar here to protect, you know, your furnace, very low maintenance. You have the man door coming out to the side where everything has the, the uh, lava chip gravel. You see a spigot over there, a water spigot. There's also one up at the front entry, I believe, on the other side. Have to double check that, your AC. And now I'll take you okay, out. Okay, we're gonna head out to the backyard now. I love having a covered rear patio. It's nice, to, especially in the winter time or during a rainstorm to sit out here and barbecue. Nice size backyard. The house sits back very far from the street. So a truck just passed by and I don't think that was very noisy. Again, you've got the mountain view over here. Again, it's kind of a, not real clear today, but hopefully you got an idea. They've done perimeter bark. I wanna say bark landscape rock all the way around, just kept it super clean. It goes all the way around the house. And I'll show you the back side here. That's a heck of a setback from the street. Not bad at all. There's a good view of that. And um, again, they've got the gutter guard, or the gutter extensions here that just take water away from the house. Two foot perimeter here. And they even put in the uh, barriers here for the crawl space. 
very important to keep your crawl space dry. Okay, I think that concludes the tour. Thank you. If you have any questions, let me know or ask your agent. Thank you for viewing my YouTube video.